Bakhmut remains one of the bloodiest battlefields on the Donbass. On the northwestern outskirts, Wagner units continue their assault in the villages of Paraskavka and Krasnaya Gara. According to preliminary reports, Krasnaya Gara has almost completely come under Russian control. To the southwest of Bakhmut, Wagner fighters continue their assault in Ivanovske. Russian forces reportedly just one kilometer away from the bakhmut konstantinovka highway. In Bakhmut itself, fighting continues in the northern, eastern, and southern districts. On February 4th, Wagner fighters launched an assault in the area of the Stupka station in the northern district of the city. Fierce fighting continues. Wagner fighters continue to mop up the area of the meat processing plant. Fighting is ongoing in the area of the Alabaster Lanes as well as the Galinyaya Street. In the Zabahuftovka district, street fighting continues along Nikrasov Street and Vatunin Lane. Russian assault units attack Ukrainian positions in the Sobachevka region in the south of Bakhmut. While the Ukrainian garrison of Bakhmut is close to being surrounded and collapsing, Ukrainian Nazis began to use chemical weapons which they had openly boasted about on social networks. The infamous Ukrainian blogger and commander of a separate technical air reconnaissance group, Madyar, has published a new video showing FPV drones and chemical munitions, hinting that the Ukrainian military are preparing to use prohibited weapons in Bakhmut. On the evening of February 5th, the first use of these chemical weapons was reported in the village of Novobakhmutova on the outskirts of Donetsk. Russian servicemen suffered vomiting and convulsions. The claims were supported by photos of crashed drones identical to those that Magyar boasted about. On January 6th, the acting head of the DPR confirmed the facts of the use of chemical weapons by the Ukrainian military in the areas of Bakhmut and Ugladar. Thus, the Kiev regime is using chemical weapons, proudly declaring it out loud, but the so-called international community traditionally ignores its war crimes. 